we pick up back at the opera house and Raul is very concerned for Christine's safety now that the Phantom has come back. So he is um, keeping guard over her in the dormitory. He's supposed to be sitting outside her door keeping an eye on her. And Christine gets up in the middle of the night when Raul has fallen asleep. Christine hires a taxi driver to take her to the cemetery. She wants to go to her father's grave to figure out once and for all if this is truly an angel that her father has sent or if it truly is a phantom. And the only way she can do that is to go to her father's grave and see for herself. The Phantom has taken the place of the taxi driver, uh, taking Christine to the cemetery. Where have they gone? Oh, the cemetery. <laughs> Now, this is one of those um, movie magic uh, scenes that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but it's important to the story. Raul sees them leave, jumps on a horse, which is much faster than the horse and buggy that Christine is in, but it takes him a very, very, very long time to catch up with them. Nobody really knows why. He should be able to catch up with them in just a matter of seconds, uh, but it takes him a very long time to catch them at the cemetery. And we hear the Phantoms theme come back all the time uh, from the first time we heard it in the musical. Every time we have something new happen with the Phantom, we hear his music in the background. Now, this is an actual cemetery. They added fog to it and they added snow to it to make it more mysterious. But we don't have a lot of cemeteries like this in our area, but in a lot of older cities, there would be these cemeteries that would have huge statues. Uh, throughout instead of just little tombstones 
And we can only assume that Christine's father was fairly wealthy. The Dae family had some money because he's buried in a small house, which sometimes called a maus mausoleum. Um, and so she has to walk through the cemetery to get to the place where her father is buried. While she's doing that, she's singing a song called Wishing You Were Somehow Here Again, which is directed at her father. She's wishing that her father had not died when she was seven years old um, and that he was still here with her. 